Hey, hello, 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 hello. Hey, hiya. I've started a new segment called a Random Excess. We'll see if it's a segment. We'll see if I can continue with this. Uh, being on air, being on screen is a new thing for me and I'm trying to see if it's uh, something I can do. We're gonna try it. But today, I, I wanna go over, uh, I started to work on, a, um, on an animation, a motion graphics piece based on uh, the art. Uh, it's an homage to John Elcorn. Um, and if you don't know who John Elcorn is, he was an artist in the 60s. I came to him because I thought my style of uh, drawing or my doodle art was very uh, similar to John Elcorn. Again, I thought it was more like Milton Glaser. I remember seeing a Time magazine cover in the 70s. It was sort of like all uh, outline. I, I liked it and it's something, it, it meant something to me. So I thought I, I would give it a try and that's sort of what I do. That's led me to John Elcorn, which I didn't know much about, but it seemed like his style was closer to what I, what I do. John Elcorn made an ad in the 60s for Pepsi, which I liked and I thought that would be sort of interesting thing to do to learn how to do to make an homage of a, sort of an updated version of that because I already draw like that already and I do some motion graphics and I thought it would be sort of an interesting thing to sort of uh, meld together and this is how I went about working on this project I'm not done with it yet um, and you can uh, see for yourself uh, you know and, and how I went about getting this done so John Elcorn uh, was a illustrator in the 60s and uh, here's some of his work. This is, this is the homage that I wanted to do right here. Um, I, I thought this, had, uh, this was close to uh, some of the work that I had done. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to actually make the, uh, the Pepsi bottle three-dimensional and run a, a camera, a virtual camera and After Effects through it. So I, I started with this. I have an illustration that I thought was sort of similar, and this is my illustration. Uh, this can be found on iStock. Um, there were some elements to it that I thought, uh, I first thought that I would redraw a picture, but sometimes I think when I really have given myself the task to have to redraw something or um, something that just doesn't flow natural, it tends to get sort of stiff. So I thought maybe I would just use some of the elements from this and um, and try to repurpose it and then redraw things from there, for example. So I started with this drawing um, as my basis. Uh, I thought it had a good sun, it had a good sort of surfing dude. There were no flowers. I took this woman in here and I ended up using her. But the one thing is, if you go back to the uh, this John Elcorn, is like, I, I, I don't know much about 3D. And it's like, well, how am I going to do a 3D bottle. Uh, this was uh, sort of perpetual, you know, sort of a, a, a bothersome to me. Um, I, had, I had learned Cinema 4D at one point, um, but really just let my skills go for the longest time. Just really, um, anytime I open it up, I just sort of get frustrated and just close it in about an hour. So there's a, I looked up, um, there's, uh, a lot of times I go to a, a website called um, AE Scripts. And AE Scripts, they have a plugin called Element 3D, which I thought was really quite interesting and quite useful. In uh, Element 3D, it puts 3D elements into your After Effects project. I thought it would be sort of a, I wasn't doing anything super crazy, but I did need to put this bottle. And then I needed a 3D bottle, because I, I didn't know how to, I couldn't render a 3D bottle. Um, so I went over to uh, Turbo Squid and uh, I bought, I found Sprite. I thought Sprite was sort of an interesting uh, look. Um, I liked it. Um, it seemed to go with, um, it seemed to go with the colors I was go going to be using and so forth. Um, so I thought, I thought this would be a good thing to do. So I did that. I bought this bottle from, uh, Turbo Squid. I think, I think it cost me $14. Um, and um, so I had uh, Element 3D and then I had the bottle. So this is the environment I, I built. Um, as you can see, let me see if I can turn this off over here. Uh, there was different, uh, I, I started with the, uh, I had this sort of the sun and so forth. 
I, I did an homage to the flowers that John Elkhorn creates, but I created my own. I created my own flowers. I put all these things into uh, 3D space. You see that they're all it's exploded. There's the uh, butterfly. I took the butterfly. I took a, a solid and added the element um, effect to it. And if you go to the interface, it looks like this. And you see it has a, a for 3D people, it has a lot of, um, uh, so it has the node situation and the scene materials and so forth. And you put it in the scene, it comes in as an object, it's pretty easy. I thought it was relatively painless. I still have uh, some things that are missing on it, but um, I, this is where I'm at right now. So, that's what we have so far, and I think it's coming out pretty good. I just think I need to finish it, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.